What's up, y'all? Um, don't mind my lip. I just, I busted my lip at school. I just got home, though. But I have chickens. They do. That's their temporary cage, but my chicken coop just came. So y'all about to help me build it. Turn around the camera. All right, so I took that piece out. This is what it looked like. Yeah, there's two boxes. I'm just bringing this box out. Um, for now, let me blow out this candle. Not safe. Um, I'm gonna put it in time lapse. And um, yeah, yeah, we're about to just build it. Show you how big it is comparison next to me or whatever because I didn't really see any YouTube videos like that. But yeah. Alright, bye. Alright, um, there's no instructions, and one of the things is chipped, but it's fine. It won't build so rapidly. Um, yeah, so this is really big, but time lapse of me building it. I have to get the drill, and um, yes, yeah, so I'll be back. Right, so I can't find my electric drill, so I'm gonna use this for the moment. Um, it has all the pieces. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to bring all this stuff outside and build it outside, since I'm only using this and not the electric drill. Cause my electric drill, you have to plug it in or something like that. So I'm gonna bring all this stuff outside. And yeah, I'll be back. All right, y'all. So, so it's the morning after. And um, bust the lip, purple. But I'm sorry I didn't record the aftermath. But I'm about to show y'all. So, yeah. All right, ready? Three, two. Okay. I'm gonna set up the camera so you can see the people's plate. I'm five. I'm five, two and a half. Okay. Five chickens. I have three meat chickens that are that stay small. I'll just show you. So there's this little door right here. Oh, the one thing to not ex to expect for there to be cracks in the wood. There was a crack. There's a crack right here in the wood. This whole thing came off, so the hatch thing came off, so then this could just fly open. It was just like, yeah. But we got what we used. We used this gorilla glue and basically just. On the inside, get the brush and nozzle one. It works the best. Um, let me just, here, I'll just put a little bit on there. Just put a little bit on there. Bro. 
brush. Just like you can brush it on there. But um it's pretty big for the most part. But another caution, the wood the wood is so terrible. What is the tail? All right, so we were using that. The babies would come inside, would come in the shed at night and go in there. And then the big ones ate out of that. And we had them in that cage with that tarp over the cage and a stick through it until we got that coop. <sighs> so now the babies can stay in the coop with the other big ones and don't have to be separated but i'll show y'all what um my chickens look like now oh and um i highly recommend it. when y'all first get any chicken or any coop like when whenever y'all get any coop and I don't know if they'll use I don't know if they'll use the ramp or not. Mask them up in the top. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a little thing right here. They close that. And I lock them up at night. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but, um, it's a little thing. I lock them at, up at night, and then let them out in the morning when the sun rises, obviously. 